Hi, today I'll be reading the online version of the book The Chemistry of Pain Medicine by Sidney Nelson. Introduction Pain medications are drugs used to relieve discomfort associated with injury, surgery, or disease. There are many different types of pain medications because the pain process is very complicated and complex. Classes of medications Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs These drugs act on substances in the body that cause fever, pain, and inflammation. Opioids, also known as narcotic analgesics. These type of drugs modify the pain messages in your brain. Muscle relaxants. These reduce pain from the tense muscle groups. And finally, narcotic. A narcotic drug affects your mood and or behavior and can be sold for non-medical purposes. How they work. When you take medicine, the pain reliever goes to work with your cells, your body's nerve endings, your nervous system, and your brain to keep you from feeling the pain. When the cells in your body are injured, they release chemicals called prostaglandins. After the prostaglandin is released, the nerve ending all around your body pick up the chemical tra and transport the pain messages to your brain. Your brain then gets told everything about the pain, like where it is and how bad it hurts. Ow! When you take the pain relievers, it keeps the hurt cells from making and releasing the prostaglandin. Hospital versus home. When you're at home and you stub your toe, or maybe you get a cramp, your parent would go to the medicine cabinet and pull out the pain reliever. These are called over-the-counter medicines, or abbreviated OTC. OTC drugs are a type of medicine sold directly to the consumer. There is no prescription needed for these type of pain relievers. Now on the other hand, if you break your leg or get some type of serious injury, you would go to the hospital. When you get there, doctors will most likely give you some form of pain reliever. These can be fluids, sedatives, anesthetics, pain medications, or antibiotics. If you go to the hospital for surgery, they might give you some pain medicine to relieve the pain you might be in either before, during, or after the surgery. Medications at the hospital are more dangerous than the ones at home, and medicine at the hospital is stronger and can go into effect faster. Overview One very common over-the-counter drug is aspirin. Another closely related pain medicine is morphine. The main difference between the two is that morphine is a narcotic, so you can't get it at your local drugstore. These two drugs are two of the most widely used pain medicines today. At the bottom on the left, you will see a picture of aspirin, and on the right is a picture of morphine. Introduction to Aspirin While reading about aspirin, think to yourself, how does the chemical structure of, the, of aspirin affect the body? Also, while reading, pick out the important facts you might need to remember to compare aspirin to morphine. Introduction to Aspirin Aspirin is the most widely used OTC drug in the world. The average tablet of aspirin contains 325 milligrams of acetylsalicylic acid with a binding material such as starch. This medicine is used to reduce pain, reduce inflammation, and reduce fever. Ingredients Aspirin was orig originally made by boiling the bark of a white willow tree. In the beginning, salicylic acid was neutralized with sodium to produce sodium silicate. This form was better tasting than the first attempt, but it irritated the stomach. After this, the acid could be modified to produce phenyl silicate. This was better tasting and it didn't irritate the stomach, yet it released the toxic substance phenyl when metabolized. At the bottom, you will see a picture of the bark of the white willow tree that was used originally to make aspirin. I'll show you. How to prepare aspirin. Do not actually attempt to make aspirin. This is just an example of the ingredients and what to do. It says you will need, and there's the formula and names for what you will need, or you can say those are the ingredients in aspirin. How to prepare it. You mix the salicylic acid and acidic anhydride in a 125 milliliter flask and add 5 drops of H2SO4. Heat it on a steam bath for 10 minutes, then let it cool. Add 50 milliliters of water and let it cool on ice. 
collect the product by vacuum filtration, air dry the crude product crystals, and determine a crude yield, and then you purify. How the body reacts. The acid proportion of the molecule causes irritation of the stomach. Stomach irritation from the inhibiting production of pr prostaglandins, the hormones responsible for slowing gastric acid production. Names. Chemical name, acetylsilic acid, common name, aspirin, brand names, ectocrine, fasprin. In some countries, it's a trademark generic name of ASA. Makeup of aspirin. 36 grams of silicic acid, 6 milliliters of acidic anhydride, 5 to 8 drops of 85% phosphoric acid, 50 milliliters of distilled water, 10 milliliters of ethanol, and an optional 1% iron 3 chloride. The periodic table and structure of aspirin is C9H8O4, and that is the structure of aspirin in the picture. Equation. Aspirin is created through the synthesis of silicic acid and ethanic anhydride. Below you will see the equation formula. The formula for aspirin is C9H8O4. The molar mass is 180.157 grams per mole. The melting point is 276.80 degrees Fahrenheit and the density is 1.40 grams per centimeter cubed. Explanation. To answer the question asked in the beginning, the first thing to be said is that aspirin's effects on the body are mainly the reduction of inflammation, prevention of clotting, and reducing fever. Those symptoms are believed to be due to decreased production of prostaglandins and TXA2. Aspirin's ability to suppress the production of prostaglandins and TXA2 is due to its irreversible inactivation of the COX enzyme. So basically aspirin is an acetylating agent where an acetyl group is covalently attached to a serine residue in a COX enzyme. That's a lot of big words, I know. In a simpler form, aspirin acts by preventing the formation of prostaglandins because they are the causes of your pain, fever, blood clots, inflammation, etc. In conclusion, aspirin has two main actions in the body. Anti-prostaglandin, anti-inflammatory, fever-reducing pain reliever, anti-platelet agent, blood thinner. Moving into morphine. Now we switch over to morphine. While reading, keep in your mind this is different compared to aspirin. Be thinking of ways that they are both alike and different and ask yourself, how does the body the chemical structure of morphine affect the body. Introduction. Morphine treats moderate to severe pain. It is an opioid pain medication. Morphine is not used as an as-needed basis for pain. Ingredients. Unfortunately, there is no straightforward answer to this topic when searched online. Since morphine is not an over-the-counter drug, any hazardous information on morphine is kept protected. All of the descriptive information is kept a secret. How the body reacts. Morphine is a dangerous pain medication. It is very strong and can lead to addiction. Morphine interacts predominantly with the opioid MU receptors in the body. How the body reacts. Morphine can do some damage to your body, especially if it is not taken correctly. The effect that morphine can have on you and your body are that it can slow your slow or stop your breathing, it can lead to death if you overdose, and it alters your mood. Even though there are some bad outcomes, there are also good ones. It eases your pain, it induces sleep, and it reduces, it reacts fast so you're out of pain quickly. Side effects. Some of the most common side effects of taking morphine are constipation, vomiting, drowsiness, dizziness, and sweating. Names. Chemical name. 5-alpha, 6-alpha, 7-8, Di dehydro 4 5 epoxy 17 methymorphine negative 3 5 idol. Common name morphine, brand name 
Roxanal, Cadian, and Avenza, named after the god of dreams and sleep, Morpheus. Dosage form. Capsules, sustained or extended release, drops, liquids, solution, suppository, sustained release, syrup, tablet, and tablet that's extended release, tentacure. How it works. The precise mechanism of the anagel, anagel is unknown. However, specific CNS opioid receptors have been identified and, like to play, and likely play a role in the effects. Periodic table and structure. C17H19 NO3. The 3D structure has five rings with a three of them approximately in the same plane, other two at, each, at right angles to the other three. And below is the structure for morphine. Equation. In the body, morphine is derived from the neurotransmitter dopamine in a complex series of reactions. The equation for morphine is not readily available because if anyone could make morphine, there would not be a good outcome. The in information found on the synthesis of morphine is too long to list. Formula C17H19NO3 Molecular weight of 285.34 grams per mole boiling point is long and complicated and density is also long and complicated. Explanation to answer the final question, let's start out by talking about the overall job of morphine. Morphine's job is to treat chronic and acute pain, also labor pains. Morphine is an immediate release drug beneficial in reducing acute shortness of breath due to cancer and non-cancer causes. Morphine has both good and bad effects on the body. The chemical structure of morphine is very complex, giving it many properties. Some side effects of morphine are constipation, since morphine acts on the myonetric plexus, it reduces gut motility, causing constipation. And also hormone imbalance, like other opio opioids, morphine causes hypogondism and hormone imbalances because it can interfere with women by suppressing levels of luteinizing hormones. Comparison of aspirin and morphine. Aspirin is over the counter, while morphine is not. It's fine in hospitals. Morphine is opiate, while aspirin is an analgesic. And there's more listed right there, if you want to go in depth. Important differences between aspirin and morphine. Aspirin is more powerful than morphine when it comes to the COX inhibi inhibition, yet when it comes to pain relief, morphine is more powerful. Aspirin is an anti-inflammatory, while morphine is an opiate painkiller. Conclusion. After reading this book, you should know a lot about painkillers. There are a million types of other pain medications. Morphine and aspirin aren't the only ones. In conclusion, pain drugs are all, are all different and they are all potentially dangerous. Chemistry plays a big role in pain medicine. Without chemistry, we wouldn't have any medications, let alone pain medicine. The end.